I'm Cherry Brandy. I'm Abigail Mug. And welcome to the first episode of the official Vodzilla Podcast. In today's episode, you're gonna meet us. We're gonna give you the lowdown on what's up with Vodzilla right now. We're also going to debut our Act of the Month feature. And we're gonna throw out some hot topics that you all can comment on. Let us know what you think. I'm Cherry Brady. I've been with Vodzilla since October 2009. My personal style burlesque is theatrical. I also perform drag under the name Brandon Cherry. He's a rogue. You better watch out for him. Uh, my favorite burlesque performers include Catherine Delish, Mary Hill, and the bombastic Jeez Louise. Oh man. Abigail Alamode here. In addition to being one of the hosts of this fabulous, fantastic podcast, I've been with Vodzilla since 2010 in the capacity of official photographer. And in 2011, I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm also coordinating our volunteer and charity events because here at Vodzilla, we want to give back to Chicago, the city we're so proud to call home. So one of the really exciting things for Vodzilla right now is that we are going to introduce a host of fresh faces into the burlesque community. Uh, let's meet a couple of them. Oh, fresh faces. Have you seen the mug on Saucy Jack? Oh, I've man. seen the mug on Saucy Jack. So hot. He's Saucy. our host and yeah. he's amazing at it. I mean, it's like he really brings it. He's, he's is... a natural, you know, he's good at controlling a crowd, yeah. which it can be a little difficult at a rowdy Especially with our crowd. Bar yeah, show. All crazy. I mean, uh, especially when that sexy Mia Divine oh. starts taking it off, yeah. right? Uh, the thing I love about Mia is that she's so, like, spunky and I know. cute, it's... but she's a total chameleon. Yeah, know? she is. And it's like, she goes from spunky to cute to, like, sex pot in, like, a like, nanosecond. Like, bam! Oh, it's like, arr, arr. <laughs> You know who else is like a total sex pot? Who? Bella Chow. Is she not like one of the most gorgeous She's women so ever? She's so beautiful. Oh it's my god. Fair. She could just sit up there and like not do anything and everybody would go crazy. Yeah. But she actually did, um, I think it's a Tom Waits song. She did Ice Cream Man yes. or something. Yes. And oh, she has this one costume. part where she's like licking an ice cream cone and everybody's like, <laughs> I mean, the list. I think there's something else you want to share with. Oh, that. <laughs> well, <laughs> I made my first performance debut yeah. at Broadzilla in February. I did a veil act, which I was very, very nervous but very happy to do. Although, I did smack a girl in the face with my veil. Oops. But to be fair, she was sitting on the floor in the front row, and as we all know, Burlesque is a contact sport. Contact sport. It's amazing. It's, it's awesome really because, um, speaking of amazing, Paprika Ame oh my God. and her natural tassel twirling. Her right? tassel twirling. <laughs> All right. I've seen a lot of tassel twirling in my burlesque days. Making the rounds. Making the rounds. <laughs> you know? Making the rounds. Going. Let's see your tassel twirling. But hers are just like so natural and yeah. so good. Yeah. And she did her debut the same month I did in February at Broadzilla, and she did that tassel trailing. I thought people were going to fall over in their chairs. They were like, damn. That's awesome. I'm so excited to see so what all of these new people do. I know. You know. And it's so great to just like watch someone get up there for the first time. Yeah, absolutely. It's awesome. One of the exciting regular features that we're proud to announce is our Act of the Month. The official criteria for Act of the Month include acts that push the envelope, demonstrate technique and tease, and surprise and delight the audience. So for February... So, in February, we had a performance at Lincoln Fair, Cuba Libre, by Tito Bonito. It's a Cuban Missile Crisis. <laughs> That boy. Oh my god, blows my mind. Oh my god. So talented. I mean, he just came onto the scene and said, you know what, you guys? I'm going to do my thing. 
and I'm going to raise the level of awesomeness. The thing that I really love about that act mm -hmm. is that it was inspired a little bit by Desi Arnaz yeah. and how he comes out with the drum and he's like singing and normally lip syncing in an mm -hmm. act, you know, that's like not okay, but when he comes out and he just busts out with that like baba woo, it's so good. Well, like for me personally, especially growing up in a Spanish culture, it's like all that music was part of my growing up. Oh yeah. So to see it as part of a burlesque act, it was so much fun and so like personal for me and he was so charming and amazing at everything I just I can't wait to see what he brings because every time he has performed it's more amazing it's kick-ass it's festival season which is really exciting burlesque hall of fame New Orleans our own Red Hot Annie just headlined at the Southwest Burlesque Fest yes. She's also headlining at the Gem Thorpe Burlesque Fest in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. Jeez Louise is uh, just was featured at the Dallas Burlesque Festival, which is really exciting. Road trips. Road trip with her man. Mm, so cute. And exciting for us. Bodzilla and Belmont Burlesque Review are co-producing the Windy City Burlesque Festival. Oh my god, so excited. March 17th through 19th. Uh, and we also have this awesome opening night party at Hydrate to look mm. forward to. They're sponsoring it and hosting. Which is pretty great. Because uh, Hydrate rocks, y'all. We love it. Mm. So good there. <laughs> oh, and you just went to bomb. I did. Was it was like? awesome. Shout out to Lily's Burlesque Review for hosting probably... I mean, it was my first festival, but I'm probably going to say it's probably one of the best festivals ever. That's awesome. It was so inspirational as an aspiring performer, mm -hmm. and even as a photographer. I mean, in just watching these acts on stage, it was, y'all should apply. If you, I mean, I really, really think that it's really important for us as a community. Everybody gets together. It's like a family. It's really good for uh, inspiring each other. And to see what everyone else yeah, does. Yeah, just know? to see, you know, and, and to meet people. I think it's so important to have that connection with other performers because we're each other's muses, right. you know? Exactly. So it's really awesome. As far as Bomb performers out there in the comments section, let us know. Do you apply to festivals? What's the things that you like about applying to festivals? And uh, are there any festivals coming up that we should look out for you in? Hopefully you're coming to Windy City. I'm you better be. Yeah. Well, I think that about does it for the first official Vodzilla podcast. Yay! I'm Cherry Brandy. I'm Abigail Alamode. And we'll see you next time. Wow.